Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm going to be setting up my very first virtual airline here on On Air Airline Manager. But before we get into it, just a reminder to please go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you're new, how about consider subscribing? It costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect. And let's be honest, who's not willing to give up some of that? We all do it after a few beers on a Friday night. Anyway, virtual airlines in on-air airline manager. Now, this is something that uh, the guys and girls on my stream that have been joining me every week have been asking whether I'd be doing it. And uh, I certainly have been. I've just been sort of grinding away, building up my cash reserves. And just today, we, we moved over to level two. Now, that's given me access to bank loans, which is something I'm going to utilize to open a virtual airline. The first thing you need to know is you need $100,000 uh, in your bank uh, to allow you to uh, open a virtual airline. I do have 60,000 and now that I've got level two and got passenger flights, I could actually uh, do a few event flights and probably get that pretty quickly. But hey, I love instant gratification. So let's go ahead. We'll take out say a $70,000 um, loan something like that. And that way we can open our virtual airline pretty quickly. Uh, but we've got two loans right there. Uh, uh, looks like approximately what uh, $1,300 a week, which is pretty uh, achievable but like I said I'd like to pay that off uh, a lot faster if we can so if we go back into our dashboard in our company and here we are now we've got $121,000 in the bank so the extra 20k should be enough of a buffer in the meantime so $60,000 worth of loans we've got so we'll go up to VA operations and we'll go create a virtual airline uh, this is the very first time I've done this so we are going to just make something up uh, Kiwi virtual let's just call it Kiwi Air virtual. How about we call it that? That way it's distinguished between my normal Kiwi Air and this one. And we'll call it Kiwi A. There we go, Kiwi Air. Um, let me go and grab an image. Okay, I went and grabbed just one of the old standard Kiwi uh, images right there. And so nice and old school. I love that one actually. So let's go ahead with that. So we've got all the details of our virtual airline set up. So I just go ahead and create our virtual airline. Okay, and here we are in our virtual airline. So I've got a hundred thousand dollars in the in the um, in the bank right there, but everything else is set to zero. Up the top here, you can see that I can flick back between uh, my company and uh, Kiwi Air Virtual. Now this is on Thunder server, by the way. I forgot to say that up front. So Kiwi Air in Thunder World. So let's have just a quick look around here and see what's up. So if we go to VA Properties right here, you can go in here and uh, you can actually change a few factors. Now I'm just gonna leave these as default. I'll put a virtual airline description in later once I have a bit of a think about it. But essentially there is a sharing policy. So this is pretty similar to groups in FS economy for those that have played that before. Uh, you can apportion basically part of the income from a flight to the pilot and part of it to the virtual airline. Uh, also, uh, there's dividend payments uh, and you can distribute them between each of the shareholders 10%. So actually I'll need to have a look, look into that because I wonder if you can actually get different shareholders on board and then you distribute the funds amongst, amongst all the different shareholders on a regular basis. So we'll have to check that out. But I really like that. That's cool. So let's carry on. Okay, I've actually jumped ahead everybody and completed a flight because it's going to make it a little bit easier to explain some uh, aspects of a virtual airline. Now at this stage here you might be wondering, well what is the point of a virtual airline? And I suppose in a nutshell, it's a way that a group of people can get together and work towards a common goal. So you pull your resources, uh, you can get aircraft or access to aircraft, you can purchase FBOs and it's just a way of getting into a sort of a cooperative type situation and adding a bit of depth to the whole uh, experience. Uh, so here we are in the uh, management screen for virtual for your virtual airline or for this particular virtual airline. Now of course I'm the only member at this point and so every time someone joins they'll then get added to the list of current members down here. Uh, we'll talk about how to manage them in a minute. Now you know you're in your virtual airline because it's green along the top there and it says management mode for Kiwi Air Virtual. Now at the moment I've got 100% share in the uh, in the company or in the virtual airline but other people can come on board and if you agree you can get them to buy in and uh, then they will have an equity share in the uh, in the business so to speak and then you can pay out dividends on a regular basis if you want to do that. Now, when you complete a flight for a virtual airline, you need to go back into your normal company and you complete it in there. And there's really a couple of ways that the system will know 
to put to put the flight and the income and the expenses and stuff like that against the virtual airline. The first way is for the particular pilot to fly a flight using an aircraft that is currently owned or rented by the virtual airline. And the other way is to complete a job that has been uh, basically reserved by the virtual airline. So to allow this to happen, you need to make sure that any member of your virtual airline has basically rights to use any aircraft that are currently rented or owned by the by your virtual airline. So for every pilot that you have under here, and you may give some access to some and not to others, uh, depending on the type of aircraft and locations in the world and stuff like that. That's the other thing you can have. You can fly jobs from all over the world and different aircraft. Um, it's pretty flexible. But for example, in this uh, this uh, particular case here, I want to give access to this pilot, which is me in this case, or this company. And what I actually went and did is I went and rented the Cessna 208. Uh, and I just either check or uncheck the box here and that means that any flight that uh, that particular person flies in this aircraft, uh, the system knows that uh, they have access to this aircraft and it will be logged as a virtual airline flight. So you might have, you know, like heaps of aircraft in here and you might pick and choose which pilots can fly which aircraft. Uh, the other thing to note too is when you're managing your um, your other people and or your members is you can change your role. So depending on which uh, sort of role you give them here will determine the access they have to the virtual airline. So as a pilot, essentially they can just fly flights uh, for the virtual airline. As a manager, they're able to go in and reserve different jobs and stuff like that. And as a founder, they have basically access to the entire virtual airline. Okay, what I'll show you now is how to reserve jobs for your virtual airline. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of drop downs up here. Because it's in the green and says that I'm man in management mode for Kiwi Air Virtual, I know that everything that uh, is in these drop downs is related to the virtual airline. You'll notice these are exactly the same as what is in your just your normal company that you have. Uh, so what I would do is go to find jobs. And what I can do is uh, select an airport just the same as you always would. I'm going to go NZOT because I know that's the location of the aircraft that I have rented. Just wait for that to come up. All right, and so here we go. Just uh, the same sort of thing that you'll be used to. It's got a bunch of different flights right here that are departing from NZBL. So all you would do is go in and uh, select a flight and press take just like you normally would. And it's going to, uh, because you're doing that under your virtual airline management it's going to reserve that for anybody in your VA so I'm just going to randomly choose this one right here uh, this is from NZOTT to NZTS and I'll just go ahead NZNS I should say I'll go ahead and press take and if I just go up into the pending jobs here uh, you can see that this uh, this particular job has been reserved and you'll see that it's got the green box around it to indicate that it's a virtual airline flight. So what I'll do now is just quickly jump into my normal company and we can see how this is represented in there. And here we are back in my uh, normal company, Kiwi Air. And as you can see right there, the job that we reserved uh, right here from NZOT to NZNS, it's got the green outline there and right over to the left, this job is provided by, by your virtual airline. Uh, so because I'm a member, I'm able to go in there and I can now load that one onto my aircraft as usual and away I go. So if I use my own aircraft, I'm pretty sure, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, that if I do use my own company's aircraft, then the virtual airline doesn't cover the costs, all the fuel, etc. But if I use an aircraft that's currently rented or owned by um, the virtual airline, then it will cover the costs. So what I would do is if I go up to aircraft, by the way, right here, this will show in my list uh, any aircraft that I currently have rented myself, obviously. But you can see here that the aircraft's got the green outline there. It's highlighted in green, which means this is an aircraft that is uh, operated by the virtual airline. So once again, the usual thing, press the uh, go and set up your flight uh, button. And here we go right here. The usual screen, this is all very familiar, I'm sure. And you can just go ahead and select this particular load right here. And I'd go confirm and fly now. And away we go. Because I'm choosing uh, an aircraft 
or a flight that uh, is uh, designated to the virtual airline at the end of the flight it's going to allocate part of the income to me and part of the income to the virtual airline and then as a group you can build up the dollars in the virtual airline buy aircraft buy fbo's do whatever you're trying to do it could be a good way that you can work together to get access to bigger aircraft and things like that right um, as i mentioned up front i completed a flight and the reason i did that is so you could see how the balance sheet sort of uh, ends up after you complete a flight so down here you can see that there goes the owner equity of a hundred thousand that I put in now I did went ahead and rented a Cessna 172 realized it had no fuel and no FBO so I cancelled that straight away so that was a rookie mistake but here we go here goes the renting bond for the Cessna 208 and as you can see the expenses remember I'm in the management mode here so this is all coming out of the virtual airline we've got the parking fee at NZBL which was the departure point of my last flight uh, the landing fee at uh, NZOT and then the renting fee for that particular aircraft all of these go against the virtual airline so the pilot doesn't pay that uh, so we then got a payment for completing the flight a $9,790 which we retained except $2,937 of it which I think is 30% well I can't remember what whatever whatever percentage you set uh, in those um, in those settings up front will then be allocated to the pilot and what you might do for a start is maybe allocate the pilot slightly less until you build up those funds in your virtual airline uh, where you can start paying people a bit more because those extra funds are going to allow you to do things like rent much bigger aircraft you know create and manage FBOs do all that other fun stuff uh, so once again up the top here a couple of other things that you can look at is uh, the skills tree one thing I did notice with the skills tree is that they're all unlocked so there you go you've got access to all of those uh, right off the bat and probably the final thing is it's just taking a look at maybe uh, how you can maximize some of the jobs that are available so for example let's go to NZAA so that's Auckland in New Zealand and this is where the power of this uh, can uh, come into play so we've got all the jobs listed right here and let's take a look at these event logistic jobs which uh, at this level here that I'm at at the moment are really good payers at 151 now this isn't available at the moment but it will be and it's got five legs so what you might do is I might take that job um, on behalf of the virtual airline and different people within the virtual airline might fly different legs and so someone might fly up to Kerry Kerry there someone might fly over to Ardmore someone might fly up to Auckland whatever it might be uh, and in that way uh, you know as a co in cooperation you can very quickly get access to that uh, income of $151,000 otherwise obviously as in your individual company you'd have to go ahead and fly those yourself uh, so other people might have also jobs uh, in their, uh, their FBOs that they, through their logistic inquiries, etc., that they can generate uh, in their FBOs, they might generate those, give them to the, uh, to the VA and let other people fly them and get them done on their behalf. So there's a, there's a bunch of different ways uh, that you can help each other and work together towards, like I say, whatever you're trying to achieve. So there we go, everybody. A bit of an overview of virtual airlines, something quite fun to do, particularly if you jump on Discord or another voice chat and uh, have a bit of a laugh while you're completing a bunch of jobs. Uh, so one thing you do need to know is that as the manager of an airline, uh, if you want to allocate jobs, you do have to go in and uh, manually select all those jobs. Uh, obviously the other way that the person can do it is uh, just select them themselves but use one of your aircraft as long as I've got uh, access to it so there's a different uh, a sort of a different a few different ways you can go ahead and manage that now the developers have said that they're looking to refine this make it um, a little bit more user friendly and add a few more function functions to it so keep watching out for that and, and you sure to see that develop as time goes by but now if you are an expert or a long-time virtual airline owner and on air Put your comments down below. Let us know some other tips or tricks. Correct me on anything I didn't quite get right. Uh, but once again, if you do want to take part and be a member of Kiwi Air Virtual, then uh, fill your boots. Go ahead uh, and let me know. And I'll go ahead and add you as a company in on air. Use the internal messaging system if you like and uh, give me a yell. So anyway, hey, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, once again, please smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.